I'm Eric Sorensen. I'm with Grady White. I've been on, been on the water all my life. I was in the Coast Guard starting at age 17. I was a ship driver, a U.S. Navy officer um, on four different warships, and I've had a consulting business for the last 20 plus years. But what we have behind us is a Grady White 376 center console. It's our biggest model. The hull is designed by Ray Hunt Design. Now, Ray Hunt was a famous naval architect back in the 50s and 60s, really originated the deep V. And Hunt has perfected this hull over the years. It's really the best running boat I've ever been on in, in rough water. What we want to talk about right now is just the physics of how the hull works. Now, the hull is, has a certain shape. We have a solid object, the hull interacting with waves, and it's the shape of the boat that determines how it's going to, how it's going to ride, whether it's going to ride smoothly or hard, whether it's going to track well or wander all over the place, whether it rolls too much and whether the bow comes up too much uh, when you're coming on trim. So the hull, the hull shape and the distribution of weight mean everything, okay? So let's just talk a little bit about uh, how the hull is shaped and why it's shaped the way it is. In the bow of the boat, there's a great deal of V, what we call dead rise. So it's got a very sharp entry. And even well back to the slings here, almost halfway back in the hull, there's a lot of dead rise on this boat because that's where the waves are hitting the hull. They're not just hitting in the bow. One of the, the secrets of the Grady White hull is the dead rise is greater further aft into the mid body of the hull. And then as you go aft, it, it tapers down to a moderate dead rise. If it's too flat, then the stern will wander all over the place when you're going to the waves. If it's too sharp, you'll have to go too fast and you'll roll too much uh, when you're getting on plane. So, and even when you're out there or whether you're fishing, the boat will roll too much. So we have this moderate amount of dead rise, just the right amount as you go from the bow to the stern of the boat. So that's part of the secret of the performance. Another thing that we have, you can see these strips or strakes that run down the side up in the bow. Now what those do is they create a little lift as the water deflects off them and uh, gets the bow out of the water a little bit. It deflects spray out to the side to make the boat drier and it, it separates the solid water away from the hull to reduce the amount of hull in contact with the water to, re, to reduce resistance and increase speed for a given amount of energy or, or thrust. And the final thing is um, at, the, at the chine, the chine is the corner between the bottom of the boat and the side, that hard corner, and there's a flat that comes down the side and it goes in. That flat there also traps water, deflects it out, creates a high pressure point that makes the boat more stable both at rest at the dock and at high speed, so both statically and dynamically. So this, this, the way the hull is, dis, is distributed in dead rise, the strakes, they're not too wide, they're not too narrow, they're just in the right place. So it's just like Goldilocks porridge, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right for the whole length of the boat. You can see the flare up in the bow of the boat. There's a, a, an object lesson, if you drive around a marina these days, you'll see these boats with ax head bows, in other words, vertical plumb bows, no flare in the bow at all. They look cool, people think, man, that's what I want next and they run very smoothly in a chop going right into the waves because they have a very narrow entry, a very fine entry. But when you turn around and you run down sea in one of those boats, you're liable to bury the bow and submarine and come to a sudden stop. And so they're not good sea boats except for going right into the waves. The reason I'm bringing this up is because this is a, you can see the rake in the bow, the stem of the boat. It's not an accidental angle. It's not there just for aesthetics. It's the, it's the right amount of angle and it's the right amount of flare, the outward orientation of the hull as you go up above the waterline. So that not only do you, as the bow buries into a wave, not only do you pick up buoyancy, but the shape of the hull gives you lift, dynamic lift. Gets, because what you want to do is get the bow back up again so that you're not slowing down too much and you're not, uh, you maintain control. If a bow plunges too deeply into the water, the bow turns into a rudder, a big, one big rudder fighting against two or three little rudders back aft that are your outboard engines. So the balance on these boats has been perfected over the years.